ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Casey. I am on the, here on behalf of the city of Las Vegas. I am representing the mayor, Carolyn Goodman, of our wonderful city. We are here to recognize Bill Superfoot Wallace. It will be officially in the city of Las Vegas, Bill Superfoot Wallace Day. <laughs> give a warm welcome though to his good friend Michael Jai White. Michael, come on. Here. Am I still the shortest? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being part of this, and uh, let's get ready to stretch and sweat. Stretch and right. kick a little bit. All right. Cool. Basically, we have three muscle groups we're going to be working. Tom and the Watson, Billy O'Sullivan, and Sartorius, right here. Biceps, of course, the hamstring group in the back. But the most important one for us in martial arts to use is the adductor group. The adductor longus, the adductor rest, the adductor magnus, and the recellus. So the knee up and including the groin area. What we're gonna do is isolate those muscle groups and make this nice and easy. Understand, understand it. All the exercises are basically the same. We're gonna teach basically temperature. We're gonna warm the muscle up. We're gonna put some tension on the muscle. And we're gonna hold that tension for a certain length of time. Temperature, tension, and time. That's what's gonna teach our muscles to relax. We're not going to stretch it. You don't want to stretch muscles. We need, to, we need those muscles to contract rapidly. So we need a certain amount of tightness there so they'll contract quickly so we can have that speed, that movement in our, in our kicking technique. So kind of understand that, and I'll be around afterwards and ask questions, because there's a reason why we do everything. I have a, I have a master's degree in kinesiology and physiology of exercise, so I can answer your questions for you. Okay, you ready? So, so, so go all the way from the floor, all the way from the floor. If you hit the other side, just tell them you're sorry. You don't mean it, but tell them. Good. You got big circles. Big circles. Good. Reverse it, go the other way. And back and forth. Elbows nice and relaxed. <laughs> and the wrist. Other wrist, please. Floppy is good. Did you remember this morning? Floppy is good. Sometimes <laughs> floppy is not good. <laughs> floppy is good. <laughs> Fingers don't, don't crack them, just kind of stretch them. Really. Good. So much for the upper body, we're not going to use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Big circles. Not your shoulders, just your hips. Good. Reverse it, go the other way. And go the other way, please. And the other way. Hands on your lower back, push those hips forward. Push those hips forward. Get that little curvature in your lower back. You should be able to feel a little bit right here in the top part of your quadricep. Hands on your lower back, push that forward. Good. Serve some more. And reverse it. Reverse it again. And go the other way, please. Good. Hands on the lower back again. Push those legs forward. Or push the hips forward, excuse me. Good. Serve a couple more times. Other way. Good. Now. We just isolated the main part of the, the top of the quadriceps that we're working. Now we're going to work the hamstring with the biceps and lords. Feet about shoulder width apart, toes are slightly inward. Put your hands on top of your knees. Good. Now take it easy. Look, keep your head up. Just slide down your legs to your ankles. Stay right there. Hold this for the count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now put your knuckle on top of your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
And Tim, how much your knuckles on the floor? Oh, shut up and do it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Now, don't move your right foot. The only foot that's going to go now. Just watch my left foot, but there's one right here. I'm going to count to 10. Again, remember temperature, tension, and time. We're tense right now, so I count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to push the left leg out just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three, a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four, one more time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five, roll back and forth. This is working the flexor ligaments, the extender ligaments, the ligaments that surround that joint. Good. Come back up. Stay right there for a couple seconds. And we do the whole thing over again. Teaching a muscle, muscle memory. Don't push it hard. Just kind of do it nice and easy. I have pills available after class. <laughs> Better life through chemistry. Okay? Certainly hips again. Do not get my balls on. <laughs> Certainly hips. You will. Circle zips. Turn the other way. <coughs> Hands on your lower back. Push those hips forward again. Don't run. You gotta let the air out. And up. Circle a couple times. Feet shoulder width apart, hands straight up, look down at the floor, and say, my God, that's a long way down. Like, how does Bend it to waist, put your knuckles right on top of your toes. I hear the grunting again. <laughs> Hold this and the count of 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 knuckles on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. Knuckles between your feet now. Where your arch is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four, three. And the knuckles now behind your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three. Knuckles in front of your toes. Just relax now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. Knuckle on top of the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. Walk forward. Stretch your legs out again. Dead back straight. Walking the left leg out. Five more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one a little wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, a little wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three a little wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, four, one more time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. Roll back and forth. Work those flexor ligaments, those extender ligaments. That's right there. Come up. Now the reason we're rolling back and forth Imagine this is your finger. <coughs> this is your acetabulum. It fits in here like this. The muscles allow this to happen. The ligaments keep it from happening. If your ligaments are tight, you're going to have that happen. 
When you're working the flexibility, how many times do you feel it in the back of your hips, right? Your buttocks, the pain, right? That's because that's happening. Bend down, knuckle on top of the toes. Just hang there. Down to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Knuckle on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two knuckles between your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three knuckles behind your toes, heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four grab your ankles. You're going to pull your head to the floor. It won't reach. <laughs> If it reaches, you take the day off. <laughs> That's all I can do. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. Hands on the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands on the floor. Walk in front a little bit, laser apart, last one of these. Last one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one little wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two little wider. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. One more time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. Roll back and forth. Toes are up. And sit down. Or fall. Hurts, doesn't it? If it hurts, how often are you going to want to do that? Never. I'll kick him in the knee, make him bend over, then I'll kick him in the head. <laughs> what do you do it nice and easy? Sit in front of the television and stretch out. Let it happen easily. Because when you're relaxed, the muscles will relax. Just watch right now. You guys can see it really easy from the side. Again, same exercise, same exact exercise. How much stress right now is on my hips? None, I'm sitting on it. I'm sitting. There's no, there's no stress pushing down. How about the inside of the knee? No, the floor is keeping the leg straight. Foot doesn't move. This is the only one that moves, just like before. I lean back, take a load off my mind. Now watch what happens. Just put your hands behind you and just pick yourself up. I call this my little scooching exercise. Watch right here. Watch what happens right in here. I count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I just scoot to the left. Look what just happens. I'll do it again. Just watch. It makes me feel good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 2. And pretty sure you get fairly wide. <laughs> and no stress at all on hip joints. It's all right here, okay? We do three sets of these things. The first set, we're gonna teach the muscles exactly what to do. Second set, we're gonna make the muscles get fatigued. We're gonna make the muscles get tired. Because when they get tired, what happens? They have to relax. Not to the point to where they're, they're gonna spasm on you, but to the point where they're gonna relax because they're tired. And the third set, well, I'll let you know when that happens. <laughs> Go straight up there, hands behind you, lean back. No, no stress on that lower back. Don't move till I tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then just scoot to the left, just a little bit. Don't go down the middle, scoot towards the left. And then you go down the middle, you really push it. And it's still got equal distance and equal, little, equal uh, flexibility in the, in the adductors. One, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. Little water. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three. A little lighter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. One more time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. Now scoot back just a little bit. Just take the stress off. Now we're going to roll to the left, roll to the right. Just nice and relaxed. Relaxation within the hip joint. One, two, <coughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Second set. We're going to make the muscle get a little tired. This is one set of three this time. Just one set of three. Legs are apart, fairly wide. Now, if you watch my hip, my right heel hasn't moved. I can stretch my heart to the and I can only go so far. And I can take all the way around where it's working in a circle. Because it's stays right here. Watch you guys. Legs apart. Nice white toe straight up. Holding this to the count of 30. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and one a little wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and two little wider. Last time. Man, it only hurts for a while. It only hurts for a while. Man, it'll go numb, so it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Hold it down. Move a little bit. Pull up. Come up. Sit back. <coughs> Relax. Last set. Maybe. Very <laughs> wide, comfortable. Toes straight up. If the toes are back and forward like this, we're not working the attic. Hands behind you. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one. A little wide, just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. A little wide, just a little bit. One, two, three, four. Why are you looking at me like that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three. A little wide, just a little bit. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. A little wider, just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. A little bit more. We're halfway done. <laughs> We're halfway home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and six. A little bit more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and seven. A little bit more. Oh, we got three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eight. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine. Last one. A little bit further, just a little bit. One. <laughs> Two, three, four, and five. 
little bit for just a little bit, just a little bit. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now see, we could be on the metric system. <laughs> so nine and two centimeters. Nine and three centimeters. A little bit further, a little bit, just a little bit. Three centimeters. Four centimeters. Yeah, that calls us right before you do this. <laughs> and ten. Slowly back. Slowly. Don't make it rapidly come back. Just slowly come back. Just sit down. Yeah. Rocking back and forth again, left and right. Left. Up, right, and back. Left, 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 up, right, and back. Three more. Left, up, right, and back. Left, up, right, and back. One more. Left, up, right, and back. Legs apart, keep apart. <laughs> Anybody know what a kip up is? <laughs> okay. Make your hands, punch yourself in the crotch. <laughs> now watch. I lean forward, I lean back. I lean forward, I lean back. I lean forward, pick myself up, and walk more to this position here. With me. Lean and back. Lean and back. Lean and push. Walk forward. Go back. Down. Roll back and forth. Toes up. Sit down. And scoot back. Bring your left knee up to your chest, is it'll move at all. <laughs> I told you that bill's available. Bring your knee up. Bring your right knee up. Oh, by the way, you've all been graduated to something called the Wallace Walk. <laughs> Serving those hips? Do you have any left? Good, okay, now. Brent? We're going to, once the sense is treasure, we don't do any kicks, right? <laughs> My entire career, I've used three kicks. A side kick, a right kick, and a hook kick. But all those three kicks have covered every angle there is. Side kick comes straight in. <coughs> right kick comes around. And hook kick, hooks. Nice and simple. <laughs> side kick straight in, round, and hook. Very simple. Side kick comes straight in. <laughs> Okay. Very simple. <laughs> Think about this. The side of the foot and the heel is what we're going to side kick, not the toes. If you strike with the toes, what kick are you really throwing? Roundhouse kick. So I want to make sure that I hit with the heel right there. Because a, law, a certain time in my life, from 1974 to 1980, my life basically depended on me throwing that side kick. Side kick is my favorite kick to throw. Why? It's my power shot. Furthest away, I can reach. Straight down. The best reason? Straight. Right from this position. If I want to throw a roundhouse kick, but let's say I'm not high enough to, I, I'm not flexible to throw it to the head, I can't say, excuse me. Uh, Grant, come around, please. Oh, thank you, Grant. Now I can throw the roundhouse kick, right? <laughs> but if he's right side forward, now I can really throw the hook kick really good. But the roundhouse kick is kind of dead, right? But from this position, the side kick comes straight in. If he faces left side forward, the side kick comes straight in. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't care what side he stands in. You know, think about this. Well, uh, if we bow it in far, black and messy. <coughs> okay, it's not going to work. Well, all of a sudden I can see all these negatives in my mind. The side kick, there's no negatives. 13 of my knockouts in kickboxing was with a side kick. Understand this, it's awful hard to fight when you can't breathe. <laughs> so that's what I want you to kind of think about, right? So, right there, right there's the shot. Every one of us can do this. Every one. Same spot every time. I don't have anything to look at, and I know where it is. I can turn around. I can do that. Right? Without falling. 
<laughs> so now we're going to do the same, the same movement. We're going to use our leg. Don't put him through the wall. Why? Because it's his turn next. Yeah. <laughs> so right here. Kicking is for distance. Sure. I'm fairly flexible. I can throw the kick from here. Reach your hand out. <laughs> so I'd rather be here. I like that a lot better. So he's right there. Now, my way of doing it, just, just this morning, I step first. Anybody know why? Simple reason. Why? Momentum inertia to get me driving forward, number one. Close the distance. Close the distance, number two. But think of this. I only have one leg. That's why it's super foot, not super feet. <laughs> I have a bad knee. So I can't kick with my right leg. So if I do this to throw the kick, where'd my head just go? That way. I want to go that way, so I have all my movement into there. Going towards my opponent. Now, throw back this hand. What do you do with this front leg? Step, right? Oh, reverse punch. What do you do with this front leg? The old way, side kick. He just throw three techniques. When he punched, what do you do? He stepped forward and covered the distance. When he threw the side kick, he just slid it because the leg's longer. So he's throwing three techniques, but I know when he's going to punch, and I know when he's going to kick. When he punches, what does he do? He steps forward. When he kicks, what does he do? Slides the leg up. That's the first 10 seconds of the fight. Now I got another 11 rounds, one minute and 50 seconds to go. <laughs> then I can say, my turn. And it's fun when it's my turn. So right there. Right, you step right here. Now watch, don't do this. <laughs> I'm sure several of you will do this. <laughs> I just didn't tell him what I was going to do, did I? But just step up, slide up, and throw the side kick. Step, and throw the side kick. Step, and throw the side kick. Step, and throw the side kick. Step. This leg, when it steps, there's the pivot. Don't do. Because now he just saw that. The less movement we have, the easier the technique. Momentum inertia. Boom, right in the back. 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 Okay? I'll do it 10 times in a row to my partner, then he'll do it 10 times to me in a row. Okay? Touch every time. Why? Because I told you to. No. Not every time are you going to throw the kick exactly perfect, right? So I'm hearing throws a side kick. Yeah. See where I threw the side kick? Do it again. Right there, right? So I do this. And I drop the elbow. He goes, <laughs> right? So I catch my elbow around his angle. He goes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so now I have that whole area to hit. So I can be here, step, bam, and back. Bam, bam, and back. Bam, bam, and back. Bam, bam. Same spot every time. Every time. Go! A couple more times we're changing. Right here, step, bam, and back. 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 Just barely touch me. Okay! okay. Sir. Be water, kick me. Come at me. Good job. Yep. Other side. That felt good. Adjust. Nearly touch. <laughs> You're spanking me in the back. I almost kicked you here. Must <laughs> be. Good job.
Okay? I try it. I throw the bad fist, bam. I come back to the original fist. Now watch what happens. Right, but now I don't come back. I go, boop. Look at the distance. There's the side kick. So, see, here we start from, bam. Come back to the original position. Right, but now I don't go back. Boop. There's the side kick. Okay? Sideways. So everything I throw is from the side. You know the jab and the hook is both from the side. The side kick, the rasp kick, the hook kick is from the side. And if I need to take off, I'm gone. Hey, you notice, you know, I'd rather get it in the back of it than in the nose. In the nose, you go this way. In the back of the head, you just go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Good job. Thank you. kick and the hook kick and second look the same. Yes. It's so important, I think. It's very important. See, because you and I are sparring, especially if I only have one leg, and I have to do this to throw the hook kick of the side kick. You know that I can't go anything on this side. Right. Because if I go this way, you know the hook kick of the side kick can't come. Right. But it's also, from this position here, it's hard to throw the back fist, because you know, from here, I have to do that. So it has to be a jab, which is a little slow. But if I'm here, the back fishing, the side, and the side ground hooking all come from this position, and then I can take off. You don't know what I'm throwing until I actually throw it. Right. That's the key to knocking them away. Yeah. You know, if you gotta wait for me to throw it, right? It's too late. Because the leg's here before you even see it. And what would you say to folks out there who always ask me, what should I train every day? Should I take a rest today? Should I train every day? What would you say? Have fun. If you're going to train, have fun. When you get tired, just rest a little bit. But the main thing to understand is the ease of movement. Don't be strong. Be quick. Because speed makes up for a lot of mistakes. That's great. I had a great time this year and last year, so thank you for the thank seminar. Try to make it a little funny. It was great, and it was very informative. Thank you. Keep kicking.